Hello guys, Guru here. If you're new to the channel or enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more top-notch podcast reviews of your favorite series. Peace. What's up, people? It's the Guru. Welcome to another episode of Truth Traders. I'm joined by my personal guest, Maddie. Hello. And we're going to discuss the topic of, is sex on the first date a bad thing? Um... I know it's kind of generic, um, and I know a lot of people probably got different views, good or bad, but we're going to share our particular views on the subject. So, we'll start off with the ladies first. Do you think sex on the first date is a bad thing? I don't think sex on the first date is a bad thing. Um, Particularly because, I mean, most of the time when you're adults, you kind of know what you want. And so, if it happens, it happens. I'm not saying that it should happen, but if it does, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you're a hoe or that the guy will lose interest in you. Maybe it just means that you got mutual attraction and it kind of happens. Um, it's probably better to wait, but I don't think it's an end-all, be-all if sex happens on the first date. I don't know, man, because you know people... Hey, it's, it's hard to overlook that because people automatically think like you giving it up on the first date, you know, just kind of loose. Uh, you know, it's easy to say okay. we both adults, you know. Well, what I'm the man is giving up on the first date too, so doesn't that make him loose? So why am, maybe I should be looking at him kind of side eye too, like okay, maybe he's out. You know, that's, that that double standard is always going to exist no matter what. You well, know? it shouldn't. I mean, why shouldn't it? Because if men can be free with their bodies, why can't women be free with theirs? <sighs> It's the age of course. See, that's what a lot of people think. This is about to become a uh, topic of uh, double standards, but it's always going to be looked down upon as women doing that. I mean, it's not going to change. You know, so it's not. You know, you give it up a first date, being going to think a certain way. Not saying it's bad, and a lot of men wouldn't think nothing was wrong with you actually giving it up on the first date. But do you think that, okay, this is going to be another topic. Do you think that that type of activity? makes it harder for other women that don't want to give it up on the first date and you got these other men are used to women actually giving it up like that um i think it does it makes it harder out out there for other women that don't do that type of activity um at the end of the day though you know what you're not doing someone else will and that's kind of like the problem with dating and everything these days it's just kind of like you have to know your worth you have to know your standard so and be ready to stick by it so if having sex on the first date is great for you then great but if it's not then i'm sure you'll find someone that coincides with that i mean life happens you gotta kind of just move with it but don't you think that actually helps men think like okay well you know it, it makes men downplay women a lot say like okay she ain't giving it up she a bitch if she do give it up, she a whole ego. That's what people well, think. Well, I think that makes the man narrow-minded. I think he needs to, you know, okay. Sex is one of the most intimate acts. You know, it's the ultimate thing that you can give someone else because your body's intertwined as one. There's nothing else after that that you can give someone. But in this day and age, I think it happens a lot, and I think people shouldn't feel guilty about having sex on the first date it happens i know i have friends of mine that have had sex on the first date and they've married the guy i've had friends of mine that had sex on the first date and they're no longer together but i think ultimately it's up to the two people to decide what they want to do after that all right well this sex on the first date thing you think that's the reason why there are more one night stands nowadays than there was like kind of back in the day people used to court well, no, date. because to me a one night stand is not a date. You don't go out on a date with a one night stand. You meet a person and you have sex, and that's kind of it. That's a one night stand. Oh, so there's a difference. <laughs> to me, there's a difference. Of course, there's a difference. Um, a one night stand is someone you meet in a bar or the club, and you just kind of go home with them, and then you may never talk to them again. Well, that could be a date too. A dude could take you out to a bar or club, and then y'all go home to your thing. But with a date, you kind of like you're not just you've gotten to know that person a little bit before you go go out on the first date or I would hope that you've gotten to know the person a little bit there have been emails exchanged or phone calls exchanged you met him once you exchanged numbers you dialogued and then you guys decided you were going on a date a, a one night stand is you meet the person they may not even know your name and you guys have sex so I think there's 
a little difference to it. I don't know. I might be liberal. I may be more open-minded than most women, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't think having sex on the first date makes you a hoe. No, I don't. But do you think, like, nowadays people are more open to having sex on the first date and one-night stands? Do you think that's changed the scene of dating? Because, like, now a lot of times, like I said, men aren't, they don't want to take a woman out no more. They want to, you know... Take it to the crib and do right. smash. Well, I think that goes back to expectations. A woman has to have expectations. And she has to make those expectations known. Um, if a man feels like that he can do that to you, then that means maybe you haven't voiced your opinion or let your expectations be known. Or just know that, hey, you, this is not what I'm about. I'm not going to go back to your house and we're not going to do this. You need to date me. You need to take me out. We need to get to know one another. So I think it doesn't necessarily always fall on the man. It falls on the woman, too. I think they hold some responsibility, but it's kind of a, a two-way street. Men know who they can get away with it with. They know what woman they can take back home, and they know what woman they can't. So, And most of the time, men are going to choose the path of least resistance. So, yeah, you're right about that. So... Another thing is, you think like now that women are more open like, to having sex on the first day, even though it has been done throughout history, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing I new. I mean, prostitution is the oldest profession, yeah. so. Yeah, but the prostitution isn't really a date now, you know? No, no, well, I guess it's a I mean, date. it is. I mean, no. Yeah, yeah, the way is a date, but you pay it for it, you know? So. Well, you just bought me dinner. I mean, then we have sex. I mean, kind of the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well. Um, that's kind of dirty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I expect a man to say something like that. I'm, okay. So, I mean, a lot of women, I think, are thinking more like men now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the same Well, activity. I think women have been forced to think like men. Because when we try to be women, it's never good enough. So then we have to kind of reverse the role so that we don't get hurt. And it sucks and it's unfortunate. But, you know, until we find the right one or two... We stop being, I don't want to say bitter, because I don't think a lot of women are bitter. I think a lot of women are hurt, and they just don't know how to deal with the hurt. Then that's what it has to be, you know? We have to be pimpettes, I guess. I don't know. You get grimy like these men are. Yeah. But, do you, are you, but I don't think women are ready to be dirty like that, though. I think there are women that are out there that are Oh, there is some dirty women, though. Yeah, I mean, but it just looks bad, a double standard. It's not a double standard, I think. It is a double standard. It's not. I mean, yeah, people have a double standard, but I just don't think that it should be there. I don't think that there should be one. I'm, I think if men can sow their wild oats, why can't women sow their wild oats? Uh, you see a man that slept with like 100 women, and another woman slept with 20. A woman slept with 20 on a resume will look a lot worse than a man that slept with 100. But why is that? Why are we programmed to think like that? When, at the same time, that's what men are out to get, have sex with women. But yet, when men, when women sleep with men, it, it's hoish behavior. I just, it's uh, frustrating. I don't, yeah. I know, that double standard is just so hard. It, it, it is. It's difficult because I think women are sexual creatures too and not... You know, not like we're portrayed in rap videos and things like that, but I think, you know, we like sex just like men like sex, and I think it's, you know, it's the double standard thing, and I, I just, I don't like it. I don't think it's right. So, oh, uh, you know, you dropped some knowledge on that one, but I'll, I'll go come from the men's point of view. Like I said, we keep saying the double standard. Uh, the men always going to think a certain way about a woman that gives up. I mean... If you're an open-minded dude, and like you said, you think, well, we had fun, it is what it is, I'm not going to think bad of women. But you know, some guys out here that really think down on women. And what she do, like you said, she want to have sex with a woman, then when she does it, you're going to look down upon her, you know. To me, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? But now, if a chick come to you as a good girl, and she start doing this type of behavior, yeah, you know, then I see there's a problem there, you know. Don't be like I'm poly purebred that then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, you you superhead all of a sudden, you know. But that's what men want. They want a, a lady in the streets and a freak in the bed. I mean, but that's what they want. They want someone that looks innocent and good and on her A game, but then can hold it down in the bedroom too. I mean, that's important. But that's another thing, okay. He might think the same thing too. Like, okay, first date. She, she put on an all-star performance. You're going to be thinking, okay, this is the first time I went out with this young lady. And she doing all of this. 
Maybe she was horny. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, we, man, women got needs too. What's so then he gonna be thinking like how many other dates she done been on and the same activity that happened? And well, how I really... many other dates has he been on and the same yeah. activities happened? True indeed. True indeed. What I'm saying. He gonna be I'm thinking. debunking. I'm kicking down the door of double standard. We, I hate it. It's kicked. It's gone. It's goodbye. But the same time, man. No, not thinking, at the same time. Why should this like? Why should I give you a second date? You know what I'm saying? After you done gave me a hundred percent of everything, we done we, we bam, smash city. I don't know. Maybe if you like her and the sex was good, I mean. But that, that might be a deterrent. Was that you know you gave them the first night, and on top of that you went all out. So should you give us a wax sex on the first night, and hoping he might well, think no, well? I think you should always put for the back. Oh, uh, and then hopefully, like, okay, well, he might be thinking, like, well, let me um, hit it again to see if it's better. I give her another date, or you give her a good performance, and he's be like, well, you know, on to the next, you know what I'm saying? You know, she freaked me. Well, that I guess that's the risk you run in having sex, being intimate on the first date. I guess that's just the risk you run. You just don't know which way it's going to go. It could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. I mean... I guess because I'm all I'm I'm all about kicking down this double standard thing. I don't see it as a bad thing if a woman is sexually expressive on the first date. I, I just don't because men are able to do it all the time with no repercussions or no backlash. But women are supposed to be prim and proper and only have sex with their husbands, and I think that's BS. I think that if men can be sexually expressive, women can be sexually expressive too, and not be seen as a whore or a loose woman or someone with no morals. I just, I'm, I just don't believe that. But we need a balance there, man. You know, you know the man's already sleazy, so we don't need two sleazies. So then, why don't the men just you know <laughs> pump their brakes a little bit, then? Men ain't gonna do that. Man. Well, then why do women? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. This things have changed. We're becoming more like men, and this, that's where the collide is going. That's why there's a conflict. I don't know. I, I think. I mean, it's not going to stop, of course. You know, people going to do it. No, it's state. not going to stop. And you know what? Um, in the long run, if you like someone and they make you happy, and it shouldn't matter. Mm. It shouldn't matter. So, to you, sex on the first date is not a bad thing. No, sex on the first date is not a bad thing. Just take the risk. Go for it. Jump, jump right in, both feet. All right. So if anybody want to date Maddie, have Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> I kidding. didn't say I have sex on the first date. I just said sex on the first date isn't a bad thing in my opinion. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just make that clear. I don't think it's a bad thing either, but you, you know you gotta be careful and you know choose your your partners wisely, not just because of the the STV STD factor, but. It's a risk, man. You never know how it's going to turn out. You know, you might be thinking you're going to keep that man by having sex with him and freaking him on the first night. And, you know, hey. But it's also important, you know, every person we have sex with, we take a little bit of them with us, you know. And so, you know, you just want to make sure you're not taking no crazy. Yeah, or that bitterness. Yeah, you know. That damage, I hate. Well, I don't think women are bitter. I will say that I think that some are hurt. And they just don't know how to deal with the hurt. But I don't think women are bitter. I don't think sex on first dates gonna help that. It may. You never know. It may loosen them up. Oh, well, we gonna loosen up. Just saying. Yeah, I understand. All right, man. I think we didn't put you to death. You got any the final words or anything else to say, Miss Maddie? Um, I guess I would say love you. If you want to have sex on the first date, go for it. If you don't, then don't. But just be comfortable with uh, whatever your decision is. And let it be your decision. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to say, ladies, be a lady. Don't do it. <laughs> too many wolves out there. Too many wolves and dogs out there. They just want to get your cookie. You know, and once you give it up, man, they don't care no more. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I, I agree with her, man. You, you know, but I would rather say, in the interest of your, uh, what do you want to say, public opinion. <laughs> And you want to look good. If you if you care about people's opinion of you, I think you should wait a couple of dates. I'm not giving no little time limit like uh, that bull BS uh, Steve Harvey be doing. But get to know a person a little bit, you know, before you spread your legs. Even if you're horny, but, you know, if you got to get your rocks off, hey, just be careful who you choose to get your rocks off with, you know. And um, and don't think sex is going to keep a man because that's it really doesn't really work like that, so... It depends on. It also depends on what you are trying to do. If you're just trying to have fun, 
Yeah, I can see you having sex on the first date. Now, if you're trying to keep this man, I don't think that's a good idea to have sex with him on the first date. And I'm not trying to say make him wait, but you kind of got to evaluate that situation because, like, sex on the first date ain't always going to keep somebody with you or keep them interested because somebody... Just about everybody. But neither is sex on the 50th date. Yeah. Like, if you wait to the 50th date, it's not necessarily going to keep that person with you. I mean, there's no right time. When you feel comfortable having sex with someone, that's when you should have sex with them. Whether it be the first date or the 50th date, it's when you feel comfortable with it. And even if you do have sex with them, there's no guarantee that it's going to keep that person. Most people ain't comfortable on the first date is good. I'm going to get butt naked and get nasty, you know? Already? You said we just met at the bar. I'm just saying we just met. Why not? I mean, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I mean, go ahead, man. I ain't woman. Hear me roar. All right, Mr. Guru and Maddie, and we'll see you later. Peace. Bye.